Hey guys, it's Hexer18. How's it going? Um, I am making this video to explain to you in great detail as much as I can on how to bypass an authenticated wireless network. What I mean about this is when we see a uh, a wireless network that we log into over wireless and it wants us to put in a username and password for to pay for them their service and I've explained to you guys about this before and um, I'm sorry I couldn't get a video up of an actual demonstration for this because the hotspot in my area which is at a fire station it was taken down because they were not getting any profit whatsoever which doesn't surprise me because it was only, it was like 40 60 bucks a month to use their service that is ridiculous I'm not gonna pay that and um, I, I thought that was ridiculous so um, anyways I'm here to explain to you as much great detail until I find a hot spot in my area to show you how to do this. So, what we got here is we got a a login process that goes through. How this works is you have a DHCP server, correct? And um, your computer sends an HTTP request to that server over wireless and says uh, and then you get redirected to an SSL encrypted login page and says hey you have to have a username and password to get access correct okay once authenticated the firewall sets a rule that states okay we're allowing your data from your IP address and your MAC address to pass through the gateway and access the internet like you wanted okay so you're wondering okay now how the heck do I bypass this if it wants me to have my IP address and MAC address and it wants a username and password okay so you gotta get yourself an image here and kinda think out of the box here we have to get this to require uh, the requirements for this is you need to have of course a wireless card whether it's your laptop or your desktop okay um, and we need a current authenticated user already on the network and that's the hard part you um, sometimes if you go to like um, I remember back in the days when McDonald's had a paid wireless now it's free though and um there were some people that are on the network but not too many so I find somewhere that's like a Starbucks that's where I see a lot of people but that's like an hour drive from here so um, I don't see Starbucks very much and I don't even go to it it's expensive but um, anyways here's what we have to do there's there's a few methods you could do for this you can do a session HTTP hijack which is um, you can do that or you can do um, the most common that you'll see is spoofing just spoof your MAC address or your IP address as an authenticated user of the target of some target that's on the network and get in okay um, you can spoof packets too uh, if you want to route through the gateway too um, but uh, what if you can't bypass the authenticated wireless network? Okay, well you got your alternatives is you can go find another wireless spot or a free wireless spot that's open that works too. Um, but the goal here, I'm sorry, the goal here is that you want to bypass an authenticated wireless network. Okay, you the difference is there's different networks too. There's agreements to use a network so you have one of those that say okay well, as long as you authenticate you hit the agreement that you're agreeing to use our network and our policy here okay or um, the username and password which is I run into a lot I see that a lot when I go uh, on vacation you'll see those paid ones um, or you got the uh, ones that yeah that wants you to pay for those and when you get you pay for them some of those are Mac authenticated 
and the new ones I'm guessing are Mac and IP so how do you spoof these you may ask me because uh, I do get a lot of questions about this um, and I do apologize that I cannot get a demo up to show you exactly how this works but it, let's say I found a hotspot okay and I can't get in it wants me to put in a username and password you can ping which is the first thing I check I get my terminal up or a command prompt if you're using Windows do a ping and then the a website www.google.com easy okay if you get a reply this means that you can do a DNS tunneling correct me if I'm wrong I believe it's DNS tunneling or you can do an SSH tunneling um, it's basically your the the uh, you have a computer at home that is hosting uh, or is broadcasting out to the internet and if you pick up your server you can connect to it ah there you go and if you connect to your server you can use the internet from your home from using the wireless from that hotspot the hotspot still lets you get to towards the internet or to another machine that is um i believe that's dns uh yeah the the dns of tunneling so um another way you can do this is like i said that you can use ping um you can spoof okay yeah mac spoofing you can use a uh, mac changer which is for it comes with backtrack just download backtrack and backtrack will let you spoof your Mac address. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well I knew about Mac Changer, but how do I spoof my IP address? You can spoof your IP address by using um, Wireshark, or you might have heard of TCP Dump. If you look, you want to do a monitor or like a scan, or see what's going on around you, and if you look closely on that network, you should see some HTTP request is what you're looking for and if you can find an IP address that it's not yours most likely you can use that when uh, for to spoof and how do you spoof it easily just change your IP address just set up a stack IP address so you set up yours and then in Mac it's super easy I just go to my settings and I just change both my hardware and my you know my IP address and use Mac Changer in the terminal, and I can change both. Okay, um, I'm yeah setting stack IP address to that IP address that's already connected to that network, and that's how you get onto an authenticated wireless network. So if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to send me your questions, comments, anything regarding to this video or any other video that I has already posted up previously. I appreciate your guys' support and your guys' comments. They're really good. I I really appreciate that. Um, I'm probably going to discuss uh, in my next few videos a uh, Ganac track uh, R6, I believe, that uh, a user, I, his, I know his first name was, I believe it's Techno. I can't remember the rest of his username, but I'm going to go ahead and do a review on that that he had requested on I'm going to do a video on Fedora 15 security that's a spin off for Fedora that's also based on security distro so um that's that's what you're going to be expecting in the next videos uh thanks guys I appreciate it talk to you guys later bye